100 years of world-class service and value. In 1906, three years after the Wright brothers made aviation history with their first flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, another exciting adventure began. A new wholesale hardware enterprise, House Hassan Hardware Company, was founded in Knoxville, Tennessee by Mr. C.S. Hassan and Mr. Sam House and a group of 12 energetic young men dedicated to the service of the retail hardware industry. These men had been key employees of the successful C.M. McClung Company, a Knoxville-based wholesale hardware company. Mr. Sam House was elected president and C.S. Hassan as vice president. In the beginning, C.S. Hassan continued to travel as a salesman and juggle the responsibilities for his new fledgling company. When C.S. Hassan and Sam House established their company, they had a strict policy of selling to merchants only. Because of their policy, House Hassan Hardware became known as Knoxville's exclusively wholesale hardware house. In the beginning, orders were received and sent by rail. In those days, the traveling salesmen who would call on dealers were grouped in two categories. He was either a railroad man or a bush man. The railroad man was the fortunate one in that his territory lay within a reasonable distance of the many towns which the railroad serviced. With the bush man, it was a different story. After arriving by train and hiring a horse, he traveled along trails in search of remote settlements, each of which had a general store that dealt in all the necessities. Back in town, House Hassan also had an in-town delivery service that delivered merchandise using horse and covered wagon. The number of items stocked and lines offered for sale grew. As the population increased in the Appalachian area, so did the needs and desires of the people for better tools, equipment, and hardware merchandise of all kinds. To supply the needs, inventors, engineers, and manufacturers produced an ever-increasing number of materials and manufactured goods, and as a result, the House Hassan product lines grew. One of House Hassan's first salesmen, Mr. Mart Calloway, became a personal friend of the many dealers who knew him as a young drummer or salesman on horseback. He experienced the many joys and woes of a traveling man, and his customers in the early part of the century knew him as Mr. Hardware. The hardware supplier's catalog in 1924 to 1925 included such items as Foster Stoves and Ranges, William J. Oliver Plows, Simons and Distant Saws, Supreme Lanterns, Stanley Tools, Marshalltown Trowels, Ames Shovels, Fix-All Paint, Winchester and Smith & Wesson Revolvers. A glance at the past catalogs of House Hassan Hardware Company demonstrates the rapid expansion during Mart Calloway's tenure and later years as sales manager. C.S. Hassan spent many years servicing customers in the North Georgia area. He became a founder, director, and stockholder of the Bank of Canton and the Canton Spinning Mills. In Knoxville, he was one of the original investors in the Park Bank. Each of these investments was later sold for over $1 million and would help down the road to fund future operations. In 1926, Sam House retired. Consequently, C.S. Hassan moved from his sales territory back to Knoxville to serve as the new president, where he would serve for the next 24 years. C.S. Hassan's son, Chick Hassan, took over as the salesman in his father's North Georgia territory. A very colorful personality, Chick was well-loved by his customers. Eighty years later, the only living customer, Paul Crutchfield of Dalton, Georgia, recalled a time where Chick had to discharge his pistol to resolve a dispute. On many occasions after World War II, Chick would drive to Knoxville and take the company's entire allocation of Smith & Wesson pistols and case knives and deliver them to his select customers. This was a source of great consternation for his father and then-president C.S. Hassan. In 1929, after several promotions and changes in territories, Mart Calloway was called back to become sales manager of the fast-growing House Hassan Hardware Company. At that time, the company's sales force was made up of 12 salesmen. Always keeping the customer number one, House Hassan Hardware's motto became to show our appreciation by giving prompt service and kind treatment. By the 1930s, House Hassan carried a complete line of hardware and new items like the electrically powered Super Heterodyne receiver. The Crosley Icy Ball Ice Maker was replaced by a complete department of electric refrigerators. Each time new lines were added, they seemed incredible. C.S. Hassan's son, James K. Hassan, grew up at his father's company and worked during the summers, but after college in 1938, he came to work full-time. Jim had a desire to learn the hardware business from the ground up, 
He talked the sales manager into giving him a catalog. He went on the road. He was told there wasn't any particular territory open at the time, so he made himself a territory. Jim Hessen called on customers that other salesmen didn't want. He continued to work until World War II. Then, after service in World War II, Jim's father, C.S. Hassan, and his brother, J.W. Hassan, asked for him and his wife to return to Knoxville and rejoin the family business. He came aboard in 1946. When Chick Hassan died in 1950, W.H. Bill Thomas took over the North Georgia Territory. Bill later became vice president of sales and a director of the company. Bill worked for House Hassan for 50 years and made numerous valuable contributions. In 1950, Mr. J.W. Hassan took over as president of House Hassan Hardware Company. The company was now 44 years old and continued to serve its customers well. J.W. Hassan expanded the company's sales force in Virginia, Kentucky, and more areas of North Carolina to service the needs of hardware retailers in those states. During the 50s, another warehouse was added to accommodate growth and to provide better service. By 1954, the House Hassan sales force had grown to 35 salesmen and was doing business in seven states within a 150-mile radius of Knoxville. In 1970, Mr. James K. Hassan became House Hassan's fourth president and a member of the board of directors. The years 1970 and 1971 brought an unusual opportunity for House Hassan with the liquidation of C.M. McClung & Company. Many lines of merchandise formerly handled by McClung's were taken on by House Hassan and many of McClung's former employees were hired. This added business immediately expanded annual sales volume by more than 30%. After that dramatic growth, as House Hassan hardware continued with steady annual increases, the need for a more efficient and modern facility grew. The time had come for a new commitment. From its beginnings until 1980, House Hassan Hardware Company was located in a vintage brick office and warehouse complex that had expanded four times in its original location on Western Avenue. One of the four warehouses was a two-story structure used previously as a foundry and was built near the end of the Civil War. House Hassan decided upon a new $2.25 million warehouse and office at Forks of the River Industrial Park. In April 1979, ground was broken for a new facility and a promising future. In February 1980, the 74-year-old company moved into their new building in the Forks of the River Industrial Park on Water Plant Road. The new two-level office complex and the initial 130,000 square feet of warehouse space provided the latest techniques available in shipping and data processing. The new facility allowed the use of modern material storage and retrieval methods that was impossible in the old complex of buildings. In 1986, the next generation of the Hassan family took over as president. Don Hassan became the third generation of his family and the fifth president to head House Hassan Hardware Company. The 1972 University of Tennessee graduate followed his father James, his uncle Jack, and his grandfather and company founder C.S. Hassan. During the tenure as president, each generation of Hassans worked to expand the company, its facilities, and to enlarge its sales force to accommodate the needs of their customers. We've spent a lot of time talking to our customers, so it's not surprising that what worked then still works today, 100 years later. World-class service and value with a personal touch never goes out of style. It is with tremendous pride that we celebrate 100 years as America's finest hardware distributor. House Hassan is committed to our relationship with the customer. For 100 years, we have been a true partner with the independent hardware or lumber retailer. You can count on House Hassan being here today and for years into the future. House Hassan Hardware Company, 100 years of world-class service and value.